Do you seriously let your kids touch this female impression of a syrup? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for inviting me over. Thank you for coming over. Sorry I am late, by the way. <laughs> I got in a little bit of a Twitter tiff. You know, you know how it is arguing with people online you don't even know. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I met you at our baby boot camp the other day. Isn't the baby boot camp so much fun? Paisley loves it. It is so nice to finally get some adult time. Mm -hmm. This is actually my first um, time away from Zayden in how many, how many months now? Like... 36 months, I think. You know, I love my Zayden to pieces, but mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. I mean, he gets to be a little bit much. I'm sure you know with your three daughters. Um, actually, the other night at Cracker Barrel, uh, Paisley. Wait. I'm sorry, did you just say you went to Cracker Barrel? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know that the word cracker is an offensive term for Caucasians, don't you? Yeah, but... So, why would you support such a racist company? They do have amazing biscuits. Biscuits? You know what that is slang for. It is a part of the woman anatomy. Uh, I'm not, okay, I'm not even gonna get into it. Let's just move on. I've had enough of that on Twitter today. So, did you do anything fun for the 4th of July? No, not really. Yeah, we actually just um, bought a few small fireworks for the kids to play with, so nothing big. Um, yeah, I stopped buying fireworks when I was like three because it is offensive to the blind because the blind don't have the privilege of seeing them. Um, can you say sight privilege? Bottom line, fireworks are not inclusive and should be abolished. <sighs> um, anyway, we, uh, we didn't just do fireworks, okay? We did watch a movie, a classic. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you actually allow your kids and your eyeballs to watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Um, Oompa Loompas? That's extremely offensive and damaging to the little people community. Wait, not what? to mention they're all running around wearing orange face, orange which is face. extremely offensive toward people, toward oranges. And we all know that Willy Wonka was a pedophile. I mean, come on. Why do you think he invited children specifically to his factory? You might as well have your kids watching porn, as, as far as I'm concerned, okay? So... Excuse me, are those uh, Oreos on your counter? Oh yeah, do you want some? No, I would not want an Oreo. Do you know what the Oreo symbolizes? Okay, it is literally two black wafers sandwiching a white cream filling. Uh, it perpetuates the racist stereotype that all black men are aggressive gangsters. That is literal racist propaganda right there. I don't know how you can actually have an Oreo in your home. And don't even get me started on Oreo Thins. Uh, Oreo Thins? Can you say hashtag fat shame? It reinforces unrealistic beauty standards and encourages young women to starve themselves. <sighs> Where is your restroom? It's um, right down the hallway, the door next to the kitchen. Okay, I'll be right back. Excuse me? What is this homophobic atrocity doing in your medicine cabinet? You went through my medicine cabinet? That doesn't matter. Wh why do you have this? For my joints. Oh, right, right. Okay. This is almost as offensive as that yellow shirt you're wearing right now. I wasn't going to say anything earlier, but what is that? Is that some sick racist statement toward Asians? Uh, I'm Asian, so... Half Asian, which means that your white side is culturally appropriating the chopsticks I found in your silverware drawer. D did you go through my kitchen? That is not the point. Are you- And what about these cookies? What about these circus animal cookies? Uh, yeah, my kids love those. Are you aware that circuses are notorious for animal abuse? Do you understand the kind of message you're sending to your children when you allow them to take pleasure in furthering the narrative that it's okay to abuse animals? <sighs> and these M&Ms! Yeah. Tell me, why did they only choose the letter M to represent their candies? Hmm? Uh, um, it's racist toward all the other letters in the alphabet. Duh. Since when do letters have a race? And don't even get me started on the Three Musketeers bar. Okay, what is wrong with the Three Musketeers bar? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you might as well call them orgy bar. And um, do you seriously let your kids touch this female impression of a syrup? What? The bottle is literally shaped as a woman. Think of all the young impressionable kids that grab this bottle of syrup to pour it on their pancakes. Not only are you telling young boys that it is totally okay to grab a woman whenever they feel hungry. Hungry? Yeah. Sex hungry. Really? But this is this is basically a sex toy. Okay, it is it's like a dildo. It is literally a sex toy. And what is what is this? Pop tarts? Do you know how offensive these are? Pop tarts, really. Tart is a derogatory term that refers to a prostitute. You're saying this is okay for your kids to eat? I am offended.
As a woman, I am so offended by this. Do you have any other sexist products in your kitchen I need to know of? Really? Honey buns? So you went through my entire kitchen. Okay, okay, that's fine. I literally feel like I'm, I'm being catcalled right now. What are these Cheez-Its doing in your pantry? So now you have a problem with Cheez-Its? It? It? You know that the word it is a transphobic term, don't you? Only you would find a way to be offended by Cheez-Its. And again with the little people. Trisket minis? Apparently you just love to insult little people, don't you? Hmm? Are you for real right now? Lucky Charms? Oh my god. As someone who is a 16th Irish, I feel so offended right now. You better be glad I'm only a 16th Irish. Because if I were full Irish, I would go leprechaun on your ass, okay? <sighs> What? What is this? What is this porno of a cereal doing in your cabinet? Look at the shape. Look at the phallic, phallic shape of these. That's a churro. And you let your own kids put this in their mouth. It's a churro. That's what it is. It's not a penis. I am this close to calling child services right now. Okay, but I'm not going to because I've already done it about 10 times this month and I think they're getting tired of me. So I'm just gonna go. Okay. You know what? I thought we could be friends, but apparently you're not up to my wokeness level. I'm just gonna go, okay? Thank you for inviting me, but bye. Jesus Christ. Excuse me? Did you just use Jesus' name in vain?